Just waking up here, I'm in Ogalala, which is about an hour and a half to two hours outside of Denver and Boulder. Uh, my plan was to get to Denver and Boulder a lot yesterday, but it was another eight hour drive from Lincoln and I just was too tired. Uh, so yesterday I just took my time, allowed myself to get lost a little bit on the road. I found that really cool um, museum, the Great Plate Road Museum. That was really neat. And uh, this is where I ended up. So I'm doing some car camping, which is pretty awesome. I plan for this. I'm really excited. It's really comfortable. I bought some high density foam here. High density foam from Surplus City before I left. And uh, fortunately my SUV is just big enough for all my stuff. It's part of the reason why I bought it in the first place, and fortunately I'm short enough to be able to fit in here comfortably. Got myself a good sleeping bag, and uh, pretty well protected with all my gear here. I even got myself, you know, safety first. It's the first time ever, but I bought myself some mace. You know, mace just in case. <laughs> no, but... I'm in the Walmart parking lot and here in Ogalala. And as you can see, there are a lot of truckers here. They actually have a space designated specifically for the truckers and our RVs. I did a lot of research on this before I left and found out that Walmarts are the beacons. It's the, it's the beacon for the traveling person. It's kind of an open door policy that anyone can come and stay and crash in a Walmart parking lot for the night. I did that last night, or two nights ago when I was in Lincoln too, and there were a couple of cars in the parking lot, people sleeping, so. Pretty neat. If you're ever traveling and you need a place to sleep, Walmart is the place to do it. Onward to Denver. Awesome busking tonight, or well, this afternoon. Gonna catch some awesome shows over, the, over this coming week. I'm gonna be in three days in Denver, and uh, really excited. So I'm on day number six here, my journey. Driving I'm about an hour from Boulder, 40 minutes outside of Denver. It's uh, pretty beautiful. In front of me, I got the uh, Rocky Mountains. I don't know how well you can see them out there in the distance, but this is uh, pretty gorgeous. Cause I'm a bicker, I'm a grinner, I'm a lover, yeah, I'm a sinner. Oh, I play my music in the sun. Oh. Cause I'm a joker, I'm a smoker, I'm a midnight talker. Lord, I sure won't hurt no one. Oh, it wasn't me, shorty. So I'm here in uh, Pearl Street Mall, Boulder, Colorado. Uh, I was recommended to come here by Dave Cook. Really awesome spot. Obviously, it's very much a tourist area, but it's gorgeous. Um, I was gonna busk because busking seems to be a pretty cool thing here. Um, but fortunately, you need a permit to amplify your sound, which I planned on doing because you know I have looper pedals and all that fun stuff. But apparently, you need a permit. I was stopped by a police officer before I even got started. <laughs> so, uh, it's all good. Except for it playing acoustically, it's way too loud. I mean, it's too loud around here to hear the acoustic guitar, so it's kind of, you know, pointless. But, uh, I don't know, I'll go see how much a permit costs. It's probably not worth, you know, what I can make to do it. But, uh, hmm. 
Boulder's gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Hanging out here at Avery Brewing Company here in <laughs> Boulder, Colorado. I just didn't press the button last time, so yeah, we're re we're recording this time. Hanging out with my friend. Hanging out with my friend from college, Jenny. Jenny. Jenny Weston. And Blair, who's a Chicago girl or Illinois or somewhere. Mike. Husband of Jenny. Jen, Jenny and Mike live south of Denver. Pretty cool. And apparently this is like the best day drinking spot. So they've got some cool mist fans. Feels like we're down in the uh, Bahamas or something. And tons of beer. And tons of beer, of course. I mean, what would you, nothing less than at a brewery. Talk about a brewing tank. Hey, yo. Boys in the brewery getting down to a little bit of Rihanna. That's what I call some serious brewing right there. Cuba. Goomba. All right, th that's a better comparison for size, yeah. <laughs> Mike is not a short guy. <laughs> <laughs> 